Drake said, people always tell me nobody's working as hard as you. And even though I laugh it off, it's probably true. Because while all my closest friends are out partying, I'm busy here making all the music that they party to. How many of you have ever made a decision based on the fear of missing out? FOMO, it controls our lives. From what we post on our grid to where we go with our miles. We end up living the life we think others expect of us rather than the life we truly want. We go to parties when we want to work. We go to work parties when we want to side hustle. We say yes when we really want to say no. And we say no when we really want to say yes. Now don't get me wrong, we don't need to disappear. But we can trade parties for intimate gatherings. Not going out doesn't mean we can't be around people. We all love people we can have fun with, have a laugh with, and then switch directly into a deep, meaningful conversation. Spending time with them one-to-one, face-to-face, can deepen that bond. We can trade nights out for knowledge seeking. Sometimes we just need a break from it all. According to WebMD, we genuinely need that necessary me time. And most of us don't give it to ourselves because we feel guilty. We end up saying yes to a million things that we would have rather said no to. We need to give ourselves permission to choose a book over the bar. We need to give ourselves permission to choose a podcast over the pub. And we need to give ourselves permission to choose to learn so that we can know how to live. We can trade chasing money for creating purpose. See, what we all do is we trade time for money. But guess what? You can't trade it back. Money can never buy time. And purpose can't be bought either. It's one of the most sought after things in the world. But if you looked at the way we used our time and energy, you'd never know. We can trade using our time badly for using it wisely. 56% of us are so scared of missing a message, a text, a social media update or an event that we're glued to our phones. So much so that we check them over 150 times a day and miss what's right in front of our eyes. Give yourself permission to invest in your vision. Give yourself permission to put down your phone. Give yourself permission to invest in your mission. Give yourself permission to stay inside on your own. It's what we call the joy of missing out. Trading fear for joy is what it's all about. So when the world is attracted to that latest temptation, you focus on inner peace and self-realization. When everyone around you is trying to see it, trying to have it, trying to do it, you know you just won't go through it. Because it's like trying to feed a beast, a hunger inside that will never cease. Instead, you enjoy the loneliness, the meaning in your emptiness. You find the answers on your shelf, with others and with yourself, without a regret, without a doubt. It's called a joy of missing out.